Hey, Saggies. Welcome to the second half of November love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sag, I tried so hard to do your reading yesterday and a couple things happened. Um, I was overwhelmed by someone else's energy within your reading, someone who's attached to you, someone who's like deep levels, deep ass levels of remorse and guilt and sadness. Like you were barely there. Okay, you were barely there. I feel like this is someone that you've closed the door on. I feel like this is someone you've walked away from, um, where it really felt like you really were in that position of like, I have no choice but to leave this situation or leave this person. Um, I do feel like they did something to you. I don't know what they did, but whatever it is, they feel really guilty about it, okay? Because you it, feel, it felt like you were very justified in having to leave this person or close this door, even though it was very, very, very fucking painful okay for some of you I definitely felt like it was an it was a situation of they chose someone over you or they were dealing with someone else other than you um and they still wanted to have some sort of relationship or some sort of friendship or situationship and it was just like you know you're worth you know you're worth and after the fact they had such utter remorse and guilt about it because they realized you pretty much the one, okay? Um, but it was overwhelming. It was really overwhelming. So Sag, coming into your reading today, it's also funny because then I met a Sagittarius. Mm. It's funny because then I also met a Sagittarius yesterday and I was and I was telling this person about like, you know, the channel and everything. And I was like, I tried to post Saggy, but like it was so hard to get through that reading. And I'm like, oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to post that one. So Sag, I went ahead and meditated on your energy today and I was getting some more stuff. So yeah, I think... Uh, it didn't post for a reason, but that is what I picked up yesterday for those who need to, needed to hear that, okay? So, Saggy, the first thing I saw was an eagle, which I love for you. Freaking love for you. It's actually usually associated with Scorpio. You could be dealing with Scorpio, you could, or you could um, be a cusper. I could have that in your chart. Um, but, Sag, you, you've recently had to practice a lot of wisdom, and you're very wise. You're Sag. You're the oldest fire sign. You are the intuitive fire sign, is what I usually say. Um, but it's something about the sight of Eagle. It's something about the sight. You're also very much guided and protected right now. Um, you have something in your sights, your, your path, really your path. You have your path in your sights. Some of you are going to have to walk this alone and you know that all these freaking noises. Um, so you're going to have to walk that alone for a while, be, especially for those who just have closed the door on something or someone, um, and I saw it when I was meditating. I saw it. It's like it was a very clear path. It was very clear. It wasn't dark. It wasn't covered in brush. It was like it was very, very, very clear. Whatever it is, you're wherever it is you're heading to next. It feels like a shedding. Also, is what I was getting like a shedding. Like you recently shed your skin. Okay, and I feel like that's because a lot of you have shed this person or walked away from this person, and there's like a shedding or a cleansing that sort of happened with you, Sag. And it's really a beautiful energy. Um, I did also hear play and frolic, and I was like, oh, of course we're Sag. I love it. Of course, Sag, you would get that. Um. I do think wherever it is you're headed to next, there's going to be a lot more fun to be had, Sag. More than you expect. I think more than you expect. I think a lot of you are forging ahead and a lot of opportunities for yourself and trying to expand your life, especially with as Jupiter, you know, is transiting from Sag to Capricorn. You're really going to be feeling that. You're probably already feeling it. And in Vedic, that already happened, that already, that transit in Vedic from Scorpio to Sag already happened in uh, November 4th, I believe. But it doesn't move into Cap in Tropic until the first week of December. But oh, by the way, happy birthday. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Happy birthday, my November Saggies. Um, but yeah, play and frolic, whatever it is you're headed to next. And I think you really need that, Sag, especially those who are in that group of leaving that situation or whatever door you closed. Um, it just feels really positive. It feels really positive. I got to be honest, Sag, I don't feel a committal energy from you. Um, it just feels like you're committed to you. And that ain't bad. Okay. Um, I also picked up... Oh. That was the only thing I forgot. I got food channeling. Some of y'all got to stop eating tomatoes, okay? <laughs> Some of you have to stop eating tomatoes. It's That's causing a lot of your inflammation that you're experiencing. Um, and some of you, this inflammation is not readily obvious. Almost like it's like, um, how do I say this? Like, I feel like it's affecting one of your organs and you're not aware, okay? Um, especially for my females, just don't eat tomatoes for a while. Just, just, just try it. Like, try to cut tomatoes out for like a month. And like, see what happens, like, see if you feel good or don't feel good or just play around with that. But definitely I, I heard inflammation with that when I when they showed me tomatoes. But I do feel like it's more for females than males. I don't know why, but I feel like it's more for females. Anyway, that had to be for a few, quite a few of you. 
And I don't mean just like a couple, like quite a few of you, I feel like uh, need to do that. Anyway, Sag, the last thing I was picking up on, a very emperor-like energy, like very, very emperor-like, someone who's very, very, very comfortable where they are in life, but I feel like they're like, it's more than just they're happy, like they're actually physically very comfortable, <laughs> like physically financially set, uh, but it felt very much like emperor versus empress here. Um, is worried. I feel like they're worried. Um, they're, they have an expectation of giving and taking, giving and taking, like very equal, very equal. And Sag, I feel like they're looking at you like a wild card, which not surprising, you're also known to be very wild, Sag. They're looking at you like a wild card, like, are they part of this? Are they not part of this? Are they turning their back? Are they not turning back? What the hell's going on with Sag? Like, they're kind of freaking out a little bit. They're kind of freaking out a little bit. Um, oh, Sorry, I'm getting a download. Um, Sag, I'm also picking up on like a father-son relationship. What is this? Oh. Mm. This isn't going to be for all of you. This, this is specifically father-son. Specifically father-son. Um, a father's really worried about their son's financial state. Um, it seems like the son is older. I don't know how old this... Adult. Adult not like 18 adult, like probably like 25 older adult, um, 32, <laughs> don't know where that came from, <laughs> 32, they could be 32, or someone could be 32, and that number could resonate for you, or be like a life lesson number, anyway, uh, where they're worried about their son's financial state and future, it's like an energy of like, I don't want to support you anymore, it, it's to the point where I shouldn't support you anymore. It's that kind of energy. Interesting. Whoa, that was for somebody. Okay, Saj, let's get into your pre-shuffle here. By the way, thank you, Michelle. I really appreciate this deck. Um, I'm going to try to find a link for you guys if you guys want this deck. It's really cool. It's called the Radiant Wise uh, Spirit Tarot. And as Michelle said last night on the 200k live video, it's also known as the Dirty Pam. <laughs> the Dirty Pam. I love it, though. I love the illustrations. By the way, Six of Cups and Page of Cups. I feel a soulmate offer. Six of Cups, for those who are new to tarot, it's like, um, it's a past life soulmate kind of energy, very much a lovey-dovey, nostalgic, familiar, like that kind of like, you meet someone, you get the butterflies, like that kind of energy. Page of Cups is an offer of emotion. It could be you're dealing with a younger water sign, or you could be the younger person, um, but it, it definitely feels like an offer. It could also be an offer from your past. Six of Cups is associated with the past here, okay? Anyway, Sag, let's get into your pre-shuffle. Please report any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? Please bring forward any messages that are needed for Sagittarius. getting stars like plural stars stars uh, you could be looking at the stars you could be studying astrology um something in the stars well i feel like there's there's um i feel like this is part this is like someone's chart what is this something in the stars i feel like someone's discovering something big like it's almost like a big epiphany about themselves by looking at their chart yeah that's yeah it's like someone's learning astrology someone is learning to read charts and someone is making an a big ass epiphany about themselves and their path because of what they're seeing in their chart interesting Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. I feel like you guys are asking me questions. <laughs> for those who are new to tarot and how to interpret tarot readings, please check out the link below first. I know I get I know I get newbies. I know I get newbies, especially like first waivers. Uh, wow, I must have a lot of newbies watching me. I'm getting a lot of questions. Um, so for my oldies, hang in there. Um, so. <laughs> What do I mean by first waivers? Uh, people just waking up, okay? People just waking up, people just becoming cognizant of spirituality, um, higher consciousness, that sort of stuff. I, I must have some real green people. I'm getting like, I'm getting a lot of questions right now. So please watch that video. 
if you're confused on anything I've said so far. Um, I know sometimes I, I struggle with speaking in basic terms. I'm trying to get better with that. I'm trying to get better with that. Okay, so I'll just get into this. Pleasing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Pleasing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh, we got a Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy. You can see Pisces or Scorpio. Whoever this is, Sag, it could be you because I'm getting a hell of a lot of intuition off of that. Getting a lot of intuition off of this card here. Whoa. Whoa. Angels are listening. What the hell? I just heard angels are listening. Angels are listening. Oh, this person's talking to... This person's doing a lot of talking. A lot of talking, Sag. Whoa. Like, not like talking, but like talking to beings. Like talking to entities. Talking to multidimensional beings is what I'm getting with that. A lot of, a lot of that. A lot of that. Oh, it's a little intense. It's like, it's giving me the chills. This person's so focused, so focused. They're and I'm also getting this person's like trying to, uh, I feel like this person's super spiritual. I'm just getting a hell of a lot of spirituality off of them. They're honing their abilities, expanding their abilities, and they're listening. They're listening and they're talking. But I'm getting angels specifically. Angels coming... Angels are angels, but um, I also believe that angels are, you know, just another form of multidimensional beings, okay? Whoa. Ooh. Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, the Sun in Reverse, Leo energy. This is an ending for sure. An ending for sure. This Queen of Cups is going through something, and I feel like that's why they're doing so much listening and so much talking. They're trying to get perspective. Sad just could very well be you. Again, energy is fluid, so... Messages can be reversed or vice versa. This could be someone you're connecting to. This could be someone within your environment, okay? Um, yeah, this Queen of Cups is is trying to gain understanding about an ending that's taken place here. Trying to get insight. They're also trying to stay calm. Whatever it is, it was very jarring. Very jarring. It could also be the energy I was talking about early on and during the uh, beginning of the video. Hierophant, Taurian energy, higher self, spiritual guidance, They could even be seeking advice from a, from a physical person, like a consultant of sorts or a therapist or a doctor um, or someone within their faith. I do feel for a lot of you, Sag, however you're resonating with this, that this is a person. Please import any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Someone who's highly respected. I just heard respect. Someone who's highly, highly respected here. Please import any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, for the last half of November. Pleasing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ah, Queen of Swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. Got another queen here. Hair fonts with a queen. Their backs are turned. Yeah, Sag, whoever's resonating with this, there's been an ending between you and someone else. And... This Queen of Cups, if you're this Queen of Cups, you're trying to gain understanding about it. You're trying to figure out why it happened. Um, it's almost like you couldn't see it coming. And this Queen, I think, sees a lot. So I think this Queen's like, how could I not see this? How could I not see this coming? They have their backs turned to each other. Completely, completely turned to each other. But I do feel a sense of divine protection as well. It happened for a reason, Sag, and that's okay. You just got to trust it. And like I said, if you're this Queen of Cups, you're just trying to figure it out. So, Sag... We're almost 15 minutes in, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. Let's get into your reading, okay? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for last half of November, please? I'm hearing crane. I think it's in, that's in the bird, as in the bird. I know that, I mean, damn it, I know that means something. I just feel a lot of feminine energy with that, with the crane. I feel a lot of feminine energy with that. It also reminds me of Egypt, actually. Why is Egypt coming into play? past life okay we're not going to fall down that rabbit hole because i know it pertains to a lot of you um but there's something about a past life specifically an egyptian past life they keep saying crane 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 please look up that for yourself okay if you're wondering if it's you you probably already have the chills you probably already have the chills if it's meant for you but after or during you can pause those if you want uh just go and research that and read that and if you like read up about the crane um in egyptology 
uh, and you feel some kind of way about it, or it's like you just know it's for you, then you'll know. But there's something in there for you um, regarding the crane in Egyptology for those that this is for. Any messages? Cousin. I just heard cousin. Cousin. Um, oh, ha, ha, ha. oh, this is funny. Um, sorry, something personal just came in. Uh, two cousins in this life. I'm getting a past life with them in Egypt. Um, I don't know exactly who that's for. Anyway, any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for last half of November? Oh man, my my oh my upper chakras are opening really quickly. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the last half of oh jeez. Half of November. The two of swords was trying hard to come out, but I didn't want to take it. If it wants to come out again, it'll come out. Any messages for Sagittarius? And there's the Six of Swords. Seven of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. Six of Cups, Aqua. So, Sag, this is this is moving forward. Like I said, on your path. I saw you on that path. You're in a boat here. But I saw you walking a path here. Walking away from confusion. Uh, walking away from a hell of a lot of confusion. Also walking away from fantasy. You're seeing the truth. You're seeing reality about people in your life. A certain someone, like I said, that you had to close the door on. Um, but you're walking into a very, very peaceful time here, okay? I do feel like you have a lot of options coming in as well. But I, it's mostly walking away from confusion and fantasy. Getting grounded in reality. Like, what is tangible? There it is. Two of Swords. I don't think this is you. I don't feel like this is you. Mm -hmm. It's almost like someone's trying to figure out your moves and why you're doing what you're doing. I almost feel like this is the person you're leaving behind, Sag. It's someone who's it's someone who's blind. It's someone who doesn't have all the information. Very, very stuck individual. I feel like a part of them doesn't want to see. It's almost like a part of them doesn't want to see that you're not buying the illusion. Hmm. Someone could have a strong moon and Libra placement here. Any messages for Sagittarius? Regarding love for the last half of November. Yeah, strength in reverse, Leo energy. Someone doesn't have the strength to see the truth. Mm. Someone doesn't have the strength to see the truth. They're scared. They don't want to make a decision either about something. They're, it's like they're scared to make a choice, but mostly because they're scared to face the truth. And if that's the case, they already know the truth. Denial. Any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius? Death. Scorpionic energy. I was feeling a lot of that Scorpio energy very, very early on here. I feel a transformation. I feel transformation with this Sag. Almost called you Scorpio. Uh, you could be dealing with the Scorpio, not necessarily. We have we have strong Leo and Scorp here. Strong Leo Scorp. Uh, we also have Libra and Aqua. I feel like you guys are asking what signs are on the board. Um, but I feel strong transformation here. One of you is changing. I think it's you, Sag, and the other person staying stuck. Stuck in denial. Wow. Yep. Five of Wands in reverse. Leo energy. Because whoever's changing or transforming, again, could be dealing with straight up Scorpio. It's really interesting it's come out like this. Um, whoever's changing... They're not, they're, they're not dealing with the bullshit. They're not dealing with the bullshit. They're also um, getting rid of any confusions or their own inner conflicts about anything. And like I said, Saj, I feel like it's you because this is someone who's leaving behind the confusion while someone's deciding to stay stuck in it because they don't have the courage to face the truth, even though deep down they already know the truth. Overall energy, eight of swords, trapped. Trapped. Trap, trap, trap. You're not trapped though. You're not trapped. You're not staying trapped. You're, you're leaving shit behind. Because you're changing, you're growing, and you have 
you have play and frolic to go to go enjoy um but someone's deciding to stay blind look at that imagery both blindfold it's the same person it's the exact same person someone's deciding to stay blindfolded okay so sag let's go and break these down a little bit let's let's look at the six of swords see what you're leaving behind and what you're heading towards okay i'm gonna use um mm, mm, yeah let's do right away let's do right away some of the six of swords i just heard aquarius some of the six of swords for sagittarius Okay, I'm not trying to scare people. It's just symbolic. I'm seeing like explosions. Sag, whatever you're leaving, it's almost like it has the fantasy of like heaven, but it's really more like hell. Tell me about, tell me, wow, wow, that's a statement. Tell me more about Six of Swords. Keep in mind, this could be some, uh, the, all of this could pertain to someone in your life, someone that you're connected to, or someone in your physical environment, okay? It doesn't have to be you specifically. Tell me about Six of Swords. I keep hearing Aquarius. Ah! Oh. Oh. Tell me about Six of Swords for Sag. Tell me about Six of Swords for Sag. also getting magician energy here um i think whatever you're leaving behind or a person you're leaving behind has a very magician energy about them an alchemy kind of energy um someone who's really capable of making shit happen very capable of making shit happen but it's also an energy of like trickery too yeah it's like who who else could make hell look like heaven a magician time about six of swords mm-hmm Lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. Yeah, you're leaving behind a connection, a really strong ass connection at that. It wasn't working. It, you felt like it was a fantasy. You felt like it wasn't grounded in reality. No delivery. I just heard no delivery. You felt like someone was not delivering. Sag, I really feel for those of you in this cherry. For the I have a lot of newbies watching me on this one. Chariot is movement from something to something. Six of Swords, movement from something to something. Could actually be physically moving to Sag. Um Sorry, that I got distracted with that. Oh, that's what it was. Sag, for those of you who are resonating with that, like you're leaving behind a very intense connection, a magician-like energy, someone who might even be a little bit of a trickster, a little bit of a manipulator. Um, I do feel for some of you, you're leaving this person because at the end of the day, they're choosing other people over you. Um, or they have literally chosen someone else and you just, you just, and they want to maintain some kind of connection and you're like, fuck that. Tell me about Six of Swords. I keep hearing Aquarius. Tell me about Six of Swords for Sagittarius. Tell me about Six of Swords for Sagittarius. Yep, Ace of Pentacles in a verse. Instability and a missed opportunity. Sag, it's almost like in your core, you know this person is just too stuck in their own shit, too blinded by their own... Well, yeah, blinded. <laughs> blinded uh too blinded by their own shit to see what they're missing out on but they're gonna realize it i think this is exactly what's picking up on yesterday that person who feels such heavy ass remorse and guilt after the fact because this is this could have been something really amazing i feel like it was supposed to be to be honest i feel like it was supposed to be and they got too wrapped up in their own shit and their own magician fantastical shit or other people or other energies or what have you and you're just not tolerating it and you shouldn't tolerate it but they're going to be really remorseful. Like the level of remorse I felt was overwhelming. I've never felt remorse and guilt like that. Like not functional, like no one could function like, well, maybe, maybe they could, but not too many people could function with like levels of sadness like that. Tell me about six of swords. Tell me about six of swords. Yep. Wow. Justice in reverse, Libra energy. Yeah. Total injustice. I just heard betrayal. Total injustice, a missed opportunity, leaving behind a very intense connection, a spiritual connection at that. Lovers is a um, spiritually guided connection. Tell me about Six of Swords for Sag. Ten of Cups. Oh, Sag, this was hard for you. 
You did it because it was the right thing, but it was hard. It was your 10 of cups. This is, it was your 10 of cups. And it, I do feel, I do feel this energy of like, it was supposed to happen. It was, it was, but you know, free will always plays a choice in these things. Tell me about six of swords. For those who are new, oh my God, I got so many newbies. For those who are new, 10 of cups is ultimate happiness. It's ultimate ha happy family, happy home, happy life, happy wife. Like it's ultimate happiness, specifically home and family. It's usually shared. Tell me about six of swords. Overall energy, yeah. Three of cups in reverse. There's no coming together here. Can't see energy, yeah. No coming together, you're leaving it behind. They didn't give you a choice. They didn't give you a choice. Um, so let's go into their energy. Choosing to stay blinded, staying stuck. They don't have the courage to really face themselves right now. That's how this feels. Like they don't have the courage to face themselves right now. But once they do, Sage, I'm telling you, I felt it. It was really intense. It came through in the partner reading really, really strong, really strong. Um, so let's look at the two of swords. Or, hmm. No, I want to look at strength. I want to look at strength. I feel like there's deeper shit there. I'm going to use crystal visions for this one. Talk about strength in reverse. Someone could also have a Leo moon placement. Uh, talk about strength in reverse. Again, not necessarily. It's just stuff I'm seeing. Talk about strength in reverse. For Sagittarius regarding love for the last half of November. I'm getting so hot all of a sudden. Uh, Talk about strength in reverse. Whoa. I think this person's having a panic attack. Or they have panic attacks. If they don't have them, they're about to have the first one. Talk about strength in reverse. For Sagittarius regarding love for the last half of November. The Empress, Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. Also, guys, in the Strength card, that is the Empress right there, dealing with the Beast, dealing with the Lion here. <sighs> this person can't face the truth because Sag, I feel like this is your energy. They see, they know you're the Empress. Empress is someone of really high standing. Okay, Empress is someone who has been through a lot of shit. They have a lot of their own shit. Very, very comfortable, very wise, very knowledgeable, very highly respected, okay? Usually it runs their own shit, has their own business or has their own home, has their own family, has their own shit. Um, they can't face themselves in regards to you. I'm getting shame. I'm getting shame. Talking about strength in reverse. You decided to not struggle with them anymore is what I'm getting. That's like because the Empress struggles with the lion in the strength card. I'm just looking at that struggle. Uh, you decided not to struggle with this situation or person anymore. And it's like, especially people who like want to keep you hanging on after they don't choose you. It's like, why would I stay? <laughs> wow. Six of cups. Oh, damn. They love you. <laughs> Scorpionic energy. They love you. Oh, God. They love you. Um the past like past memories of the two of you also keep coming up and it's like they don't want to look at it they don't want to look at it because it just oh there it comes <laughs> oh i'm feeling that in my stomach um here comes that guttural remorse and guilt and sadness um it almost makes them sick sag for some they actually will get physically sick oh it's it's like it's just a sickening realization of what has just walked away Talking about strength in reverse. Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. Six of pentacles in reverse. Oh, six of pentacles is the minor arcana to the major arcana uh, justice card. As above, so below. Um, but yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. It's 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 unfairness. It's unfairness. That's not a word. It's it's unfair. It's unfair. It's also a big loss. They know you're gone. They know you're gone. Um, for some, they thought they could have their cake and eat it too. Like, to the point of not just keeping you as like a friend, but even like as an actual like side piece. Um, no. <laughs> Tell me about strength in reverse. I just heard Leo. Eight of cups. There's you moving on. 
Piscean energy. Eight of Cups is leaving stuff behind to head towards uh, the Ten here as well here, okay? You're going to go find your Ten of Cups somewhere else. This person was your Ten of Cups. You're going to go find a new Ten of Cups. Talking about strength in reverse. But like I said, Sag, for a lot for a lot of you who are resonating with this, they left you. They chose someone over you or they started seeing other people over you. It's like I'm just getting over, over, over. Like you became secondary, third, fourth, fifth, last, whatever. Um, they did it first. They did it first. And then you're like, why would I stay? Why would I stick around? Talking about strength in reverse for Sagittarius. Yep, four of wands in reverse. Aries energy, foundations, broken foundations. Yep. They did it first, and then they try to keep you around. You're like, fuck that, I'm out, I'm out. Yep, there we go. Got five of wands, Leo energy. <laughs> a lot of Leo going on in your reading too. A lot of Leo, a lot of aqua, a lot of scorp. Actually, there's almost no sap, pure saggy energy here. But anyway, so five of wands, conflict in that fighting yeah, you, competition. I'm getting comp heavy, heavy competition. Yeah, you, they, this person is so conflicted within themselves about what they've done. They can't look at themselves right now while you while you walk away. So while you're walking away, they're not feeling it. They're just in kind of they're just in denial. Um, and then they start to remember the good times, and then they start to realize they can't stop thinking about you. Then they start to realize how awful it feels to have you gone, and then they fall deep into that regret and remorse and i mean guys deep i mean deep underneath the five of wands ace of swords in reverse lies illusion the illusion and the fantasy they painted a good picture is what i just got to they painted a good picture um and it's not that they didn't love you obviously there's a hell of a lot of love here they painted a good picture of going to choose you i feel like that's the expectation they set with you sag of putting you first choosing you you being number one it's not the case. So then moving on to I, death with the five of wands in reverse. This is a result of you walking away. Okay. Like I said, you're going to go through a transformation here, um, but you're not going to be part of this struggle. You're not going to be part of the struggle. You're not going to be part of the competition. You're not going to fight for this person's attention. If they decided not to indulge in your attention, you're not, you're not going, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. You're not going to, if they're not going to give you a piece of them, you're not going to give you, give, if they're not going to give you a piece of them, you're not going to give them a piece of you. Plain and simple. I don't even feel the need to clarify that actually. Let's go ahead and get some advice. Saj, I feel like you're going to find your new Ten of Cups very quickly. And that might make the, I think that might also set this person deeper into regret. I'm just feeling that. I'm just really feeling that. Yeah, I, I feel like it's going to happen way faster than you anticipate. Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies? regarding this spread and it's funny because i'm just realizing you're known as the seer the sag right you're known as the seer you're dealing with the blind man or a blind woman actually it's traditionally women in, the, in this in these illustrations but yeah sag the seer and the blind man i think that's what i'm gonna title this anyway any advice for my saggies regarding this spread Any advice for my Saggies? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? You might not need any advice. <laughs> I think you're handling this beautifully, to be honest. Nope. <laughs> Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any 
Wow, Sag, real quiet on the advice. Like I said, the seer. The intuitive fire sign. Any advice from, oh, there we go. We got one. Any advice? Oh, we got two. Any advice from my Saggies? Oh, yeah, Sag, I think you're closing this door and you're heading right into a new path with a potential ton of cups. And like, I, I really feel like it's happening very fast. Any advice from my Saggies regarding this spread? So I got four cards out here total. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah, I thought it was. Oh, what did I just say? Koi fish spirit. There is always enough. 36 breaking down to a nine. Very Piscean energy for me as a reader. Butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful. What did I say? You're going through a transformation. This has changed you a little bit in, in a really beautiful, beautiful way. It's really helped you recognize a lot of your self-worth. It's also made you really strong. And um, even though it's it was hard for you to do this, it was so the right thing, Sag. It was so the right thing. 11, a master number. Koi for Spirit is about scarcity mindset. Like quite literally, it's like, why would I keep giving to you when I could potentially find a full-blown 10 of cups situation with just me and one person where there ain't other people involved or where there's no other competition right you're realizing that this is you learning that you don't have to hold on to somebody out of fear that you won't find anyone else because you will you most definitely will okay you're changed and you're beautiful now we also have nightingale spirit love is all around um energy of 41 breaking down to a five so change and transformation here for those who have been with me for a while, this is indicative of a very significant love interest being involved in your reading, and that's very, very clear here. But like I said, I feel like you're heading in, into someone of this energy, of this vibration. Because you've recently changed, Sag, or you're changing because of this, that changes your vibration. You're going to be inviting very loving energies who are seeking that Ten of Cups that you're seeking. This is what you're seeking. That's the vibration you're putting out there. That's what's going to come right back to you, okay? I really feel like closing this door, walking your path. You're going to walk it alone for a little bit and have some play, have some frolic. I don't think you want to date. I'll be honest. I don't think you want to. I think you want to have fun. But you, in, in having your fun, you might find someone who is worth more than just having fun with, okay? And then we have brown bear spirit. Take a time out energy of nine. This is a hermit energy for me. It's really like taking a pause <laughs> a pause I'd always see this right to really heal your heart a little bit and heal from this which is exactly what you're going to do with this death energy death is a scorpionic energy it's letting shit die to heal it going to the underworld to deconstruct and eat away at the things that don't serve you anymore at the pain that you're feeling to become reborn to be renewed a lot of newbies I just got to explain some stuff take that time take the time to do this okay Keep in mind, we all work with energy differently, Sag. This could have already happened to you a while ago, and you're in the reborn stage here, okay? Um, so just be, take note of that. We all work through energy at different rates, at different times, in different ways. So a lot of you are in different spots of this whole story, okay? Energetically speaking. But take the time that you need. You're going to need it, okay? And it's mostly just to heal and recover. And then you'll come out of your little cocoon, all reborn and shit. And ready, and ready, ready for your Ten of Cups, ready to take that on, okay? Overall, we do have Fox Spirit, think on your feet. We have another nine here. So completions, 27. Oh, mm. I feel a pairing. I don't know why I'm getting a pairing. A pairing, a pairing. <sighs> oh, that's why. So the way numerology works, this is 27, right? So the energy of seven which is divine guidance, right? Divine guidance and being on your path. Working through the two, and I was getting pairing, duality, um, pairing. I'm like, I can't, they just keep yelling pairing at me. So being on your path is coming first, and then camaraderie or pairing with that two comes in to get to the nine, a state of completion, Sag. I really feel like you will be encountering someone and... Like I said, you're going to be having fun, you're going to play, you're going to frolic, and you're going to meet this person and you're going to be like, oh shit, think on your feet. Like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, do I, do I want to try again at a Ten of Cups with someone else? Or do I keep playing and frolicking? I think you're going to find yourself in a predicament. You're going to find yourself in a little bit of a predicament, a little bit of a choice. Like, again, two, choice. Twos are also associated with choices. Um... I really feel that way. Almost like this fox is like, 
Hmm? Hmm? Like, oh damn. I, I just dealt with that and I healed from that. I'm ready for fun. I'm ready for play. I don't know. Like, do, do, I, do I want the Ten of Cups this soon? Can I have the Ten of Cups this soon? What if it ends up to be the same? I could just keep playing and frolicking. Yeah, I think you're going to find yourself in that kind of position, Sag, which is kind of funny. It's very Sagittarian. But anyway, Sag, I hope you guys enjoyed this and you found it insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo, and I will see you guys. Oh, and Instagram, and Instagram as well. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Saggies. Namaste.